Hello and welcome to a spirited debate. I'm Lauren Green. Today is Good Friday, the day Christians solemnly recognize Jesus' crucifixion on the cross. But before Jesus was nailed to the cross, his tormentors demanded he carry it through the streets of Jerusalem to the hill of his execution. That path is sacred for Christians. Here with more about how Jerusalem is the pulse of Christianity's most sacred event is Father David Neuhaus, the Latin patriarchal vicar in Jerusalem. Welcome, Father. Thank you very much. Tell me, what is the mood today in Jerusalem? The mood for us Christians is a very solemn mood. We are really focused on our Lord who is hanging on the cross. Many of us have already celebrated the, the office of the Passion, and so now we are waiting for the moment of burial. It is a time to reflect, of course, on how much God loves us. It is not really a sad day, but a solemn day, really to remember that God loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for us on the cross and thus to lead us on the way to him. You know, you've, you've spoken pretty much on this subject, but what does Good Friday mean for Christians? And what should it mean for Christians? A lot of Christians in the United States, um, it's just a day they don't understand. So what should they understand about this day, Good Friday? I think that the important thing to understand is how much we are loved. It is a time to take, uh, it's a moment to take some time for silence, to reflect on Jesus on the cross. I think that this is absolutely essential, to contemplate him as he dies for us. So really it's a time to remember how much we are loved, how much God is waiting for us to come home. And that of course begins in the silence of our hearts where we can do an account of conscience, where we can take into account how we live our lives, whether we are living our lives only for ourselves or we are really striving to live for others and make a better world. Jesus certainly died so that the world would be a bit better. And of course that a lot depends on us who are his disciples. Are we making a better world? as we gaze upon him and realize how much we are loved. Father, this is also the start of the Jewish Passover. It's one of the rare, occasion, rare occasions where the start of Passover and Good Friday actually coincide. But Passover and Easter are always kind of around the same time. Can you explain the link between Passover and Easter? Abs absolutely. They are always more or less at the same time. Uh, because, of course, Jesus is a Jew from Nazareth. And he comes to Jerusalem in order to celebrate the Passover. And it's exactly at this time that he celebrates a last meal with his disciples that we in the Catholic Church commemorated yesterday. At this meal, which is most likely a Passover meal, he takes the bread, quite possibly matzah, the unleavened bread of the Jewish people. He blesses it and then hands it to him as his body, and he takes the cup of wine and gives it to them as his blood. The link is absolutely essential. This is the time of liberation from slavery, whether it is the liberation from slavery in Egypt that we remember historically, or it's the liberation from sin. Jesus comes as a paschal lamb. And in the Gospel of John, very significant is that he will be crucified at the moment that the Paschal Lamb is offered in the temple, coming to take away the sins of the world as the Lamb of God. So to be perfectly honest, without this link with Jewish tradition, without the link with the Jewish people, we would have an enormous difficult time understanding who Jesus is, what he did, and why he did it. It only makes sense if we know the Jewish language of the Old Testament. You mentioned the Old Testament. The Passover tradition is that the Jews were freed, but before they were freed, they had to endure the, the night of death, which is the Passover. And it was the blood of the Lamb that Moses instru instructed them to put over their doorpost to save them. And so here you go fast forward to Jesus now being God's Lamb, and his blood then saves. Is that what you're trying to say? Absolutely. What I'm trying to say at the basic level is we go to the same school learning the same language, Jews and Christians, 
and the manual of that language, its grammar and vocabulary, is the, are the books of the Old Testament or the books of the Tanakh. We have much in common. All right, I want to thank you very much, Father David Neuhaus in Jerusalem, talking to us about Good Friday, um, a solemn occasion for uh, Christians, and, of course, Passover, which is very solemn for the Jews, indelibly linked these two, these two religions. Thank you so much for being on a spirited debate. It's my pleasure.